Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about file synchronization. I'm going to specifically be talking about it as far as products like Dropbox and SugarSync. Uh, they have some differences, a lot of similarities, but they both more or less work the same way. So I'm going to talk about them interchangeably and I'm going to talk about how basically how they work and how they might differ a little bit from an online backup service. So let's get started. Okay, so let's say you have a PC. And it could be Windows, it could be Mac, we'll just say in this case it's Windows, but it could be Windows, Mac, even Linux, doesn't really matter. And let's say that you've got a, uh, a folder here, and maybe you've got a few files. So what you want to do is, you want to make it so that those files are accessible from multiple locations. And that's where a service like, for example, Dropbox, or sugar sink comes in and I'm going to put a terribly drawn cloud icon around them and those services allow you to to synchronize or make copies of your exact copies of your files across different devices so what you would do is on your PC you would install the the Dropbox or sugar sink software and depending on the software you use, if it's Dropbox, you would you would take this folder and you would store it in your My Dropbox folder. If it's SugarSync, you're not limited to that folder. You can synchronize any, fo any file or folder. But what you do is you install the Dropbox software and tell it to synchronize that folder. And then what it will do is it will copy your information up to Dropbox's servers on the internet or SugarSync. So that's great, you've got your files uh, synchronized to the cloud. Now let's say you've got a laptop, let's just say it's a MacBook. And that's your laptop. And you also install the, the, the Dropbox or SugarSync software on it, on it as well. So what it will do is it's gonna go up to the Dropbox server, say, hey, do you have anything for me to download? And it's gonna say, yes, why? Why, yes, we do, we have these folders. And it's gonna copy your folder down onto the MacBook. So now you have an exact copy of what is on what was on your PC is now on your MacBook as well. So because this is synchronization and not just straight up copying, let's say you go and delete this file here. What it's gonna do is it's gonna tell the server that you've deleted the file and then the server is going to tell your computer, hey, this file is deleted. And it's going to go ahead and delete it right there as well. So you need to be careful if you're using synchronization. Because once you delete it from somewhere, you're deleting it from everywhere. Now let's say you're, you're on your MacBook and you're editing your files. And let's say you edit this file. You maybe you add a page or, or you work on some document or something like that. Right away, the software is going to go up. It's going to go up to the server, tell it that this file has changed, tell it what the changes are, and then right away on your PC, it's going to make that same change on the PC's file. So now your, your changes that you've made on your MacBook are right away reflected on your PC. This is really great. And if you go ahead and maybe create a new document on the PC, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to go up to your soft server, and then all of a sudden you'll have your new document on the MacBook as well. So you can see here that these file synchronization services are taking whatever changes you make and reflecting them on all available devices. Now let's say you've got your MacBook somewhere, and you're, you know, you're on the train, or you're traveling, or you're somewhere without internet access. So let's say the internet access is cut off. Well, this is one advantage of using file synchronization instead of just uh, cloud-based service. Even if you don't have internet access, it doesn't matter because you've still got your files. They're copied down onto your MacBook. So you don't have to worry about not being able to access stuff. Everything that you need is right there all the time. And then once you, uh, once you get back into internet range and you have internet access again, your MacBook is get, the software is going to communicate up to the server, say these are our changes, 
let's say uh, let's say you added a you know created a new file here that you were working on or maybe you were changing one of these files here as soon as you connect again it's going to make reflect the changes on the PC and the Dropbox or SugarSync services are pretty good at determining figuring out what the changes are even inside files and so even if you make changes on both your MacBook and your PC it's generally pretty good you don't have to worry about it it will sort it out what the latest version should be now let's say that you have a mobile device Android iPhone whatever it doesn't really matter some device that has software that can talk to these servers what it can also do is if you install the, the app, it can communicate with the server and it works a little different than a computer. It's not going to download all your documents right away because obviously that would, that would use up all the space on your phone. But what it will do is let you see what all the documents and all the files that you have stored in Dropbox or SugarSync. And you can tap one to view it. And what it will do is it will bring that, that file down onto your device. And then you can either email it to someone, you can edit it if you're working with some sort of application that supports Dropbox. Uh, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. it. It'll edit it and then whatever changes you make will be reflected back up to Dropbox. Super handy having mobile access on an iPad, iPhone, Android, maybe Blackberry, uh, you know, a bunch of different platforms. It can be super handy to have your stuff in the cloud. And also, even if you're on a computer, uh, I don't know, say a work computer, or you're on vacation, or you're at a family's house, you have some sort of work computer, you can access, you don't even need to install the software, you can just load up a, a web browser and access the, access the Dropbox or SugarSync server, and you can get at whatever files you need to. So as you can tell, I find file synchronization like Dropbox or SugarSync super handy. It's one of those things that once you start using it, you can't imagine life without it. And this is how it works. For more going paperless tips or workflows, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks a lot.